Okay, so there's uh, two quick ways to really solve these kind of problems. One is to solve for x, and the other is to plug in these uh, choices here and substitute them in to see which pair of solutions works. Well, I'm going to solve this by balancing the equation because it's a, definitely a skill, I think, that you need to develop as well as you work through these. So we have 2 over x plus 1. Let me just pick a different color. 2 over x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 over 2. Well, I would treat this like a proportion and just cross multiply. So here, 2 times 2 is 4, and x plus 1 times x plus 1 is what we'll have to evaluate using the distributive property. So if we do that, right, um, x times x, that's x squared. I'll write it up here this time. x squared plus what? Well, x times 1 and 1 times x, that's 2x's. And then 1 times 1 is 1. And that equals 4. To solve for x, I'm going to bring the 4 back to the left here. Subtract 4 on both sides. And what do I get? Sorry, I'm running out of room here. x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And now I could solve for x because I could factor this out and then um, find the solutions here. So I'm going to find two factors of negative 3 that add to 2. And after trying several out, you'll realize the two factors um, uh, that work are positive 2, sorry, positive 3, so plus 3, and negative 1. So positive 3 and negative 1 multiply to negative 3, but add to 2. So that's how we can quickly factor this quadratic out right up here now. So these two numbers are being multiplied to get 0. And the two numbers here are x plus 3, that's our one number, and x minus 1, that's the other. Well, if two numbers are multiplied to get 0, one or the other or both are 0. So we assume both are 0 and solve for x. So if x plus 3 is 0 and x minus 1 is 0, that means x equals negative 3. We can tell that by subtracting 3 from both sides, the first equation, and x equals 1 by adding 1. So our two solutions are negative 3 and 1, choice 2.